Hello there, Internet. Uh, I just wanted to give you a special message outside the regular body of our show regarding the FCC, uh, the government agency legally required to know what Bosch is. Uh, <laughs> we actually looked into it, and it turns out that's Oscar Bosch Gosh, bad boy inventor of Oshkosh Bagosh. It is. <laughs> Prove me wrong. You can't. Nobody can. Uh, you, you may remember on last week's episode, we talked about the FCC's plan to undermine net neutrality regulations by stripping internet service providers of their current Title II classification. Uh, and at the end of our piece, we asked you to reach out to the FCC, and we even set up this website to make it easier to leave a comment. <laughs> and frankly, comment you did. Go FCC yourself is trending on Twitter this morning. This comes after last night's... Uh... John Oliver from the last week tonight asked all of his viewers to flood the Federal Communications Commission to save net neutrality again. Come on! <laughs> Everything about that man's tone is hugely insulting. And let me explain particularly why. What he's essentially saying there is, John Oliver, a comedian you think about so little, you probably didn't even notice, that is not John Oliver, that's Stephen Colbert. <laughs> But it is, it is true. It is true. The FCC site did get a ton of comments. The number is now up to around 1.6 million. And, and those, those comments have come from all quarters of the political spectrum, uh, from net neutrality advocates uh, to those who want the FCC to roll back oversight of ISPs to comments like, I want to be able to view my streaming porn without more lag. Please don't screw me here. <laughs> Lateral plaintiff face. It's all I got. Which is already great. It's already tremendous. But that, that comment also apparently came from the International Space Station. <laughs> which, which, for a start, explains why the smiley face is sideways. Emoticons orbiting the Earth are not bound by gravity. That's a science fact. But, but, on, but on the other hand, I find it hard to believe an actual scientist on board the International Space Station left that comment. Because... There is no way anyone up there has any use for porn, and I'll tell you why. They are way too busy space-fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are space-fucking until the sun comes up up there, which it literally doesn't. Think about it. <laughs> it's always nighttime. You're in cramped quarters with colleagues. There's nothing else to do up there, and it's really easy to be upside down, which, according to books, can be a sex thing. <laughs> plus, plus, you've already got the helmets. You know, the helmets you wear during sex. And, and it is undeniably true that some people tried to mess with the comments. And to listen to one conservative writer, that is reason enough to discount all of them. They're calling this grassroots. It's really not anything of the kind. It really looks like astroturf. Because when you look at these comments, thousands are using fake names. Thousands of uh, comments are using John Oliver. They're using Donald Trump. They're using Barack Obama. They're using Homer Simpson, Michael Jackson, and the rest. Now, in case you're thinking, well, hold on there, Michael Jackson is actually a very common name, I should tell you that at least one of them said he lived at 420 Butthole Street. <laughs> which, which is, which is also, as I understand, a very common address. But, you know, clearly, <laughs> clearly, she is right. Some comments on the site were faked. But, interestingly, many of those were actually on the other side of this issue. In fact, the FCC received 128,000 identical comments which were anti-net neutrality. And when journalists reached out to the supposed commenters, they found several had no knowledge of their alleged comments. So these were almost certainly spam bots, which, which actually makes this even stranger, because you would assume that the bots would be in favour of a free and open internet. <laughs> how else would they tell everyone how to earn $6,500 a week working from home? Think about all the readers of the comment section of a Huffington Post article who will miss out on this amazing opportunity, bots. Think about it, bots. You should have thought the issue through. <laughs> but, you know, questionable authorship was not the only problem. There were also some issues with content. It's not really surprising that you have a lot of vulgar, obscene and downright racist comments when John Oliver himself is calling this campaign Go FCC Yourself. Yes, I did do that. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, unfortunately, she's right about something there. There were some racist comments on there. And let me just say, if any of those came from anyone who watches this show, stop it. You know, do not fucking do that. 
writing racist things on the internet is not how you win the net neutrality debate. It's how you win the presidency. We know that. <laughs> we know that now. <laughs> History proves it so. But I still do encourage anyone on Earth, or indeed above it, orbiting the planet fucking like space geckos, <laughs> uh, to please comment in a civil, clear fashion. Although, and this is really important, don't actually do it right now because the FCC is scheduled to vote on their net neutrality proposal on Thursday, May 18th, to officially kick off months of debate. But due to a procedural quirk, they will not be considering any comments submitted in the one week leading up to the vote. So please hold off for the moment. In fact, if you go to GoFCC yourself, you will see we are no longer redirecting you to their website. We're sending you to a holding page where you might be watching this video right now. But when it is OK to comment again, we will send you back to the FCC's comments page where you can and should tell FCC Chairman Ajit Pai that you specifically support strong net neutrality backed by Title II oversight of ISPs. So that's it. That, that's all I need to say to you. Until next time, I am apparently Stephen Colbert <laughs> saying good night. Good night, Internet.